I V6 Forerunner and uh, there's that Super Tech oil filter. I know, ew, um, Walmart crap, but uh, I'm just doing that as an experiment to see how, uh, how, how does that stand out against Fram and the other higher quality oil filters. So, um, yeah, but I always change my oil every three to 5,000 miles, so that shouldn't be a big deal, but I'm not going to stick soup, uh, stick soup with super tech, um, after this oil change, this next oil change, I'm going to be going with another brand of oil filter. That's going to be a lot better than a super tech. Um, so anyway, that's not the video for today. Um, just want to go do an update on that coolant thing. Uh, as you guys may remember a few months ago that I did my radi not radiator, my, uh, timing belt and water pump replacement and also the thermostat that did not leak anymore on the original area where it did leak at and it was wet on this front part of the uh, uh, of the engine now what I thought there was a coolant leak um, yeah I put some paste in there thinking that it will stop the leak but it didn't uh, just trying to think outside the box don't do whatever I did right there so um, what I did is I, I checked underneath today and I noticed there was coolant leaking on this hose right here, just a little bit. And what, if you're wondering what this thing is, this is actually a um, uh, an oil cooler. So, which just kind of baffles me because this hose is actually going to the the um, the uh, outlet of that water pump. So it's technically part coolant related. So if you are if you I don't know exactly what this is why is this here if there's any toyota enthusiasts with this exact same engine no matter if it's the t100 the forerunner or the um pilux pickup let me know what this thing actually does because i don't even know why a coolant related uh item is going into an oil an uh, oil related part which is this right here this is an oil uh oil cooler and it's going to the water the outlet of the of the of the water pump so it's part coolant and oil related hmm but anyways there was coolant leaking out over here and um i thought it was a coolant leak so what i did was i uh moved this ring this little uh this little clamp forward a little bit so at least it can uh it can clamp onto the very end of the hose so i don't have any of that leak anymore and um as you can see, it's so far it's doing so good. Uh, it's not leaking so far, so I think that should last me for a, for a while. Um, Cause I did my research. Uh, part of the background noise, but uh, I did my research on this thing, and this thing does not have coolant, as far as I'm concerned. This is all oil inside. This is an oil cooler. I think this one is supposed to like help cool the oil. So I think that's why. Uh, part of the coolant is kind of part of the system so I think that's how it works uh, if you're a hardcore Toyota enthusiast please let me know because I know you guys know more than I do I'm just getting still getting to know my own car so yeah uh, I thought it was a I thought it was a coolant leak but it's not it's just the the hose just a little bit loose so I just uh, moved the clamp a little bit further in and tighten it down as hard as much as I can without breaking it so yeah and don't do whatever I did right here. I was just think, trying, trying to uh, think outside the box and just trying to experiment with how can I uh, stop that from leaking. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed.